Hello, I'm Kyle with Kimray, and today we're going to be covering section D of our catalog, that's pneumatically operated dump valves. If you enjoy this kind of content, uh, we do a ton of videos over different sections of our catalog. We also do in-person training. So if that's something that interests you, reach out to your local Kimray store and we can set up a rep to come out to you at your place and do these types of trainings. Or we can invite you to one of our store locations and do the training in person at our place. Let's jump right into pneumatically operated dump valves. So within this section of the catalog, we have uh, two products, two main product types. We've got the diaphragm balanced valve, and then we have the low pressure, high volume dump valve. Uh, we'll get into more details about those two. Uh, but one note I wanted to point out before we get started is the low pressure, high volume valve uh, has replaced the PBT line. So the piston balance throttling version of the pneumatically operated dump valve um, is, is being replaced by the low pressure, high volume valve. So if you're looking for content on the PBT line, we have plenty of content already on our YouTube channel surrounding that product. Let's talk about the diaphragm balanced dump valve. Uh, the diaphragm balanced dump valve is called a diaphragm balanced valve because the upstream and downstream pressure are balanced above and below a diaphragm. The max operating pressure for this dump valve is 400 PSI. We have both uh, fail open and fail closed versions of this valve. Those are two different products. The fail open version of this valve has a travel indicator. There's a clear plastic piece that has a red indicator um, that will come into and out of that, that clear plastic piece, uh, letting you know when the dump valve is open and when it is closed. Uh, and then also, if you are using the diaphragm balanced valve in erosive applications, this is not the ideal valve for that. Just because of the flow path through the valve itself, uh, you will get premature wear on the valve seat, the cage, and then even the valve body. Because the seat opens down into the flow path, um, that directs the flow uh, of the fluid out away from the seat to the edge of the valve bodies. And you can actually get wash out around the outside of the valve body, as well as on the seat, uh, the ratio plug and the cage. I would say for your, your standard liquid dump that's in non-erosive applications, uh, as long as the flow requirements match up to the rated flow rate of the valve, the diaphragm balanced valve uh, is going to work just fine for you. Um, some of the um, troubleshooting tips for this valve in particular uh, is just material selection and elastomer selection. You want to make sure that you're selecting both a material and elastomer that's going to be that's going to work well in whatever application you have this in. Uh, so keep in mind temperature, keep in mind uh, the makeup of the fluid that's going through this. If you're in a sour gas area, making sure that you have the appropriate elastomer that's going to last. If you are repairing the diaphragm balanced dump valve or even the older model PBTs, there are there is one unique repair tool that you'll need. It's the spring compression tool. Uh, it's unique to just this line of dump valves. Uh, it's really hard to repair these dump valves without that spring compression tool. So when you take the top works apart, uh, you can get it apart, but you'll, you have to compress that spring to um, install the diaphragm plate uh, on this valve. And it's extremely difficult without that compression tool. Uh, we have a video on all of our repair tools that you can watch. Uh, we'll put a link to that so you can find it easily. All right, next I want to talk about the low pressure, high volume valve. The flow rate of the LPHV is much higher than the flow rate of the diaphragm balanced dump valve because of the flow path through the dump valve. 
as you can see in this diagram here, upstream pressure still comes into the valve and flows down through the seat. But when the valve opens, um, the entire plug assembly is moving up and out of the flow path. So that gives us a, a larger flow capacity, and it also prevents a lot of wear on the valve body. Uh, so the, the flow can go directly from upstream to downstream without running into any obstacles that divert the flow to the valve body, causing excessive wear. Once the flow goes through the valve, uh, it's, it's flowing downstream and doesn't run into uh, any other obstacles that can cause premature wear. So this would be ideal for erosive applications. If you've got sand in any of your production fluid, this is the valve that you want to use. The LPHV is a throttling dump valve. A couple of things help us achieve that throttling action. The actuator is from our one inch high pressure control valve. So what that does in comparison to the diaphragm balance dump valve is that gives us a larger surface area, a much larger diaphragm uh, that that 30 PSI pneumatic signal coming from a level control can act against. Uh, that gives, a, gives us a much more smooth operation, open and closed, uh, much finer control. Uh, also the ratio plug and just the flow characteristics through the valve itself help with that throttling action. So you're able to get a larger amount of volume in the same uh, two inch connection. Uh, we have this available from two inch all the way up to four inch uh, connection sizes. And this operates uh, up to 500 PSI. So no more than 500 PSI, um, but the another advantage to using uh, this type of actuator on a dump valve is because it gives us an open yoke. So we're able to see stem travel position um, as well as see if the packing is leaking. Once the packing wears out, um, just by visually checking the dump valve, you'll be able to see if the packing needs to be changed. This type of valve also allows you with its actuator to change from fail open to fail closed without using any extra parts. So just like you can change our high pressure control valves from fail open to fail closed, um, this one is field reversible as well. This is a balanced valve, uh, just like the diaphragm balanced valve, but this one uh, is balanced above and below the piston assembly of the dump valve. So downstream pressure is communicated um, through the center part of the piston to up above the piston. So no matter the pressure drop across this dump valve, uh, you'll get a smooth, consistent action opening and closing from this valve. And that just helps with finer control of that liquid, again, both on the oil and water sides of your vessel. If you're wanting to change the fail position of the top works of the LPHV, we have a video on that process as well as the repair process for that video. So it's in one video, so check that out. Um, also, if you are looking to get away from emissions and the pneumatic supply is changing from uh, gas to air or nitrogen, uh, both of these products can work with those supplies. So whether it's compressed air or nitrogen, um, both the LPHV and the diaphragm operated dump valves can work with those supplies. That's going to do it for this video on pneumatically operated dump valves. I'll see you on the next one.